I'm Alexa. Mark from Property Lim Brothers. <laughs> Always happy to show you the place. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Property Land Brothers Landed Home Tour. Today we are in D16 where I'll be showing you a freehold corner terrace. They actually share the sh <laughs> Now over here we are less than a 10 minutes walk to Tanamera MRT station and we are surrounded by amenities. Flank the entire... Flank the length of the home. Stop saying entire so many times. I think you're going to love this. Let's go check it out. more about the location. So this spacious house is located along Upper Changi Road in Peak View Estate, which is nestled in a huge enclave of landed houses in the Tana Mera area. Upper Changi Road is actually a single-lane, two-way road, mainly catering to residents in this estate to return home after a hard day of work. So you definitely do not have to worry about the noise as there is no heavy traffic passing through. There is also thoughtful planning for the residents as you can see that there is quite a deep setback comprising of greenery separating the house and the road. So from our house, it is an easy 8 minutes walk to Tanamera MRT on the east-west line. From Tanamera, we are just 2 stops away from Tempani Station that connects us to the downtown line. We are also just 4 stops away to Paya Lebar Station which connects us to the circle line. You'll also be glad to know that we are only 3 stops away to Pasaris where you can expect a faster and more convenient travel in the future when the Cross Island Line is up by 2029. For those of you who drive, over here we are well connected thanks to the PIE, ECP and TPE. You can reach the Central Business District area and the Orchard Road Shopping Belt in 30 minutes. Now today we're here in the Peak View Estate in District 16 and why we simply love this landed enclave is we're actually along this entire Upper Changi Road which is very accessible if you're driving out. In addition, we also get this very nice green buffer. The land size is very generous here, standing at 2929 square feet. You have this very nice garden that's manicured and you also get this very nice lawn towards the side which you only can get in a corner terrace kind of space because for a corner terrace and a semi-D, they actually share the same minimum requirements in terms of setback and stuff like that. The only difference is that on the other side of the corner terrace, you actually are jointed by more terraces instead of just one semi-detached pair. Something we noticed is also you have this additional four to five steps. So this brings your home to an elevated kind of position so you get to enjoy more privacy as well. And if you head on over back into this side patio, our homeowners have put in very nice uh, kind of greeneries flanking the side of this entire space. This can also be converted into a pool area, a jacuzzi. You will have green fingers. This is your entire personal private garden. Now in addition, what you also get with a corner terrace is this entire span of windows that flank the entire length of the home. So of course that allows you more natural light and also crosswind ventilation into the entire uh, home itself. You are actually not adjointed to your neighbouring unit. So the other unit across from us is also a corner terrace. And it's also actually very rare to find corner terraces because if you look at it, for every set of inter terraces, you only get two corner terraces. So that makes it a little more rare and unique to actually find one of these. So in summary, this entire plot here has a length span of about 25 meters on average, frontal width 11.7 meters on estimate, and at the back, you get about a 10 meters. And in terms of facing wise, uh, your main gate towards your front, this is facing towards your southeast area and of course at the back you have the northwest direction. So right now let's head on in and we'll share with you more about this home. So this now has a full three bedroom type of setup. On the first level you actually get a living dining area. There's also an additional study that's also convertible to a bedroom. And if you want to, you can also convert a one more kind of helper's room right at the back on over here. The entire back of the home, you also get this very nice setback for you to do your laundry area. And at the side, of course, early on, we showed you the side patio as well. And if you head on to level two, that's where you'll find the three full bedrooms, a master bedroom with an ensuite bath, and also two common bedrooms with a common bathroom as well. Now let's kick off the home tour with the living room. And what I simply love about this entire home is once you enter, you are greeted by this well-preserved colonial French type of doors, bifolding type of system. So if you want to have guests over, you can actually open this all the way up, push it all the way to the side, so basically there is no obstruction. Of course, your living room as you come in is also fronted by a lot of panels of windows right here, which allows in a lot of natural light. So this is towards your southeast facing. Now your living room space is in a very squarish type of layout, which allows you to have multiple configurations for your living room space, especially where you want to put your couch. 
So right now, the entire living room is everything is movable here. So what you can purposefully do, I think, is to maybe uh, if you want to have like a feature wall for your TV console, this is the wall that you should go up on. Place in like a three to four seater type of L-shaped couch with maybe armchairs at the side as well. What I also like about this home is you have this very nice uh, entrance foyer zone, uh, which is like a secondary foyer because your main one is actually right on out over here. So as you come on up after you park your cars, uh, you can kind of put your shoes right here. If not, you also can have shoe cabinets right now at the bottom area. A lot of space for you to kind of play around with and be flexible about and creative. Right now you have a six seater placed in, but I'm sure this can go up to like a 10 or 12 seater if you want to. And this is the room that is a, a bit like a flexi room in today's context because now uh, it's being used as a very nice a study, a very bright one with like four fronting panels of windows right here. You get very nice uh, natural daylight that streams in from these four huge panels of windows in your study area. Uh, what you can also do is convert this to a full-on bedroom itself. What you can do is erect maybe your wardrobes over in this wall over here and then your bed can come somewhere in this corner. And as you come into this space, super humongous like kitchen, I think you have a lot of space to kind of play around with. If you are someone that cooks up a storm very regularly, you love this large size kitchen, of course you can keep it as it is. So this is your understair storage which kind of leads inwards. So you get some storage space here. There's an additional storage room also in, tucked away in this corner. This fridge is just movable, you can kind of relocate it somewhere else. And this can also become your um, helper as a room that uh, she uses. If you don't need that additional helper's room, what I think you can also do to this area is maybe do it up into a nice kind of a bar for your wines or your whiskey and stuff like that. So I think those are some ideas you can play around with because your space is just simply so large right here. Of course, your kitchen also enjoys very good ventilation. It's like almost no wall except for the beams at the side. Everything is windows. So you have no kind of issue with uh, dispelling your food aroma after cooking out of a storm in your kitchen. What you also enjoy is this additional skylight that has been thoughtfully put in by our owners. They allow you a lot of natural light into the kitchen area as well uh, in addition to this huge panel of windows so i think this entire home itself has no lack of kind of daylight coming in the last part of this huge kitchen is of course you get this full-on uh, bathroom right on over here shower your wc as well as uh, your sink and right now the owners are using this corner as their laundry zone if you kind of want to relocate this i think an idea where you can do this is perhaps out here in the backyard because you have a dedicated kind of washing zone uh, with water inlets right on over here. So the backyard, of course, is for your clothes drying. You enjoy very good natural sun from here. So this is facing towards the back, which is your southwest. Of course, if you want to have a bit more shelter, what you can install is the retractable awnings right here. Now, before Alexa shows you the rest of the home on level two, uh, let us have a look at some of the pricing analysis within this Peakview Estate. Now, zooming into the vicinity of Peakview Estate, there is actually a very limited supply of corner terraces and terraces on the market. So if we have a look at the 99-year leasehold type of landed properties, we have the cluster development like Summer Gardens, TOP in about 1995, uh, putting it at a balanced lease of about 73 years. The asking prices are going at about 2.1 to 2.3 million. And if we do a quick lease refresh back to the 99 years, that puts us at about 2.84 to 3.11 million. If we have a look at what's on the market today, now one of the recent transactions was a home at Canary Park with a similar size that was sold at about 1,700 odd per square foot at about 4.4 million just a few months back and if you look at currently what's listed on the market uh, south from Tanamera MRT we have the Bedok Road and Upper East Coast landed areas the inter terraces are going at about 4 million with a per square foot pricing ranging from about 1,800 to 2,300 dollars per square foot for land sizes ranging from about 1,600 odd square feet to 2,100 square feet. For semi-Ds, uh, they're asking at about 6.5 million with a land size of about 4,800 odd square feet. Now, if you're looking at some of the newer builds, let's have a look at what's on the market today. So we don't see any corner terraces that are on the market right now if you're looking for new builds, uh, but there are two semi-detached that are on the market right now going at about 6 to 7.8 million uh, with per square foot pricing asking north of $2,000 per square foot. Now, if we come back to our unit here at Upper Changi Road, uh, ours is a corner terrace, a land size of about 2929 square feet. Uh, our asking price is listed at 4.48 million, which puts it just at about 1530 PSF. If you are planning to simply just move in your family, maybe do a light renovation, you can have this full four bedroom set up right here. Five to 10 years down the road, when the market has picked up, 
and prices have kind of gone up as well. What you can then do is actually take on an equity type of loan to maybe do some A and A or even to do a full on rebuild if you choose to do so. So of course these are subjected to the bank's approval. So do reach out to your bankers if you are kind of exploring this route as well. And we think here at PLB that this home actually hits the trifactor sweet spot in terms of uh, accessibility. We are just within eight minutes to the Tanamera MRT. We are listed at four point four eight million, which puts us just under the thousand six hundred odd per square foot mark. This is a freehold land for you to hold. Uh, you can pass this down to your younger kids as well in future. Now coming back to the unit, let's join Alexa as she shows us the rest of the house. Hi. Okay, so right now we are on the second story and this is the landing area on top of the staircase. You notice that over here, this is actually a very squarish and rather spacious area that can actually be utilised fully. So what you can do is actually perhaps to put a study table over here so this can double up as a work-study area. If not, if you have children, you can also put bean bags, a big TV screen, perhaps your Nintendo and DS Lite, and this can be a secondary chill out area for your children. So let's check out the first common bedroom. I never wanna give you up. I know we've been through so this is actually the smallest room out of all of the three bedrooms available on the second floor. And you notice that even though this is the smallest bedroom, the size is big enough such that you can actually comfortably fit in a queen or even up to a king size bed. So this is definitely a very generously sized common bedroom. We do have a built-in five panel wardrobe, lots of storage, definitely enough for your clothing if you needed to. And you notice on this side of the wall, there has been no built-in, but if you wanted additional storage space or bookshelves, you can actually do up them against this wall as well. So in the current setup, we do have a single bed that is placed right next to the window. And what this means is that every morning when you get up and you look out of the window, you are greeted by this beautiful greenery in front of you. So welcome to the second bedroom. Now as you can see behind me, the current setup actually has two single beds, but I have a little surprise in store for you. Come on in. Now look at the length of this room. Are you surprised? So originally, the size of this room was actually up to here. Now what our owners did is actually to extend it out and cover it with roofing and add additional windows so that this becomes a very self-sufficient room by itself. Now this room is actually perfect for those of you with multi-generation families because you can actually have your in-laws or parents staying in this room and yet it will be self-sufficient enough for them because they have their additional space where they can have their own living room as well. So the current setup of this room actually has two single beds over here and on the other side we actually have a study chill out living room area but of course if you wanted to configure it to your own liking you can put a king size bed up to here comfortably you can even put another king size bed over there so you can even have up to four single beds if you wanted to host many friends over so coming down you see that the space behind me has actually been converted into an entertainment room of sorts we do have a television over here you can have a bookshelf over here and we have a study desk place over here so that when you're doing your work or reading your magazine, you do get that same beautiful greenery view in front of you. We also have placed a comfortable little chair over here, right next to the window, so you have lots of natural sunlight streaming in when you're reading your book. Now what you can do if you actually wanted more rooms on the second floor is that you can actually partition up a wall over there to make this area a separate room. And for this particular room, the space is definitely enough for you to fit up to two single beds and even a queen or a king size bed. Let me share more about the future potential growth in the Tanamera and General East region. So in the recent Tanamera Kachil Ling government land sale, it attracted a total of 15 bids and the highest bid went to MCC land and this area has been zoned as residential with commercial on the first storey. Now located right next to Tanamera MRT Interchange, the site has an area of 8,880 square metres and can potentially yield 265 condo units and 2,000 square metres of commercial space. What this means is that this house can actually attract potential upgraders from these areas. Looking at the master plan for the Changi region, we also note that a lot of vibrancy is being brought to the east side. Now Changi region is set to become a vibrant and thriving economic hub with Changi Aviation Park which is set to cater to new aviation related sectors and businesses that rely on air connectivity to the world. Changi City is also set to be transformed into a waterfront district and once fully developed, it will offer exciting new recreational and tourism possibilities and seamless intermodal fly ferry linkages from Terminal 5. 
Now, the Thomson East Coast Line will be extended from its original last terminal at Sungai Bedok to Changi Airport, passing through the future Terminal 5 and eventually connect to Expo and Tanah Merah stations. So it looks like for residents living in the East area, you do have a lot to look forward to in the future. Welcome to the master bedroom. Now, this is undeniably one of the largest and most spacious master bedrooms I have ever been to. Originally, the size of the master bedroom was actually up to here, but what our owners have done is to actually extend the space all the way to the edge over here, making this really befitting of the title of master bedroom. Currently, we actually have a huge king-size bed frame over here, yet we have such a large width of space for you to walk around. So you can see that there's definitely lots of room. And over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight panels of wardrobe! In case this eight panel wardrobe is still not enough storage for you, don't fret because you can see that right over here in this corner, there's potentially more space for you to build another wardrobe. And if not, you can also look right outside over here where we have a nice gap to either put a dressing table or additional wardrobe for your clothes. Our master bathroom also comes with a two panel sliding door standing shower. Now the condition of this toilet is actually still pretty good and well maintained. But of course, if you wanted to, what you can do is either do a chemical wash or perhaps just do some simple renovation to revamp the look of the bathroom. So all in all, this is a very generously sized master bedroom with lots of potential and room for you to do more, such as adding an additional walk-in wardrobe or even building your home and office work space within the room. And I think now's the time for me to share more about the amenities in this area. Now for those of you with young school going children, over here we are within 1km to St Anthony Canossian Primary School, secondary schools like Anglican High School, St Anthony Canossian Secondary and Tanjong Katong Girls School are also nearby. In terms of amenities, just 600 meters away is a 24-hour giant supermarket for your groceries. Around the supermarket is also a plethora of eateries for the foodie in you. We are also less than a 10 to 15 minutes drive to several malls in the vicinity, such as East Point Mall, Century Square, Tampines Mall, Bedok Mall, Kinex, Singpo Centre, and many more. For fitness buffs, Bedok Sports Complex Stadium and Swimming Complex are just a 5 minutes drive away. For those of you who appreciate nature, both Bedok Reservoir Park and East Coast Park are only a 10 minute drive away. Now, if you're looking for something that is freehold status here in District 16, you want a corner terrace, you want something almost ready to move in, just do a simple renovation. You can bring your family right on to live here. And in future, you still have future potential to kind of rebuild to the three and a half storey kind of mark. And if you're keen to view this corner freehold terrace with us, do give our listing manager a call. Thank you for staying with us throughout this home tour. Now remember to click the like and subscribe button on our Property Limb Brothers YouTube channel page. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Alexa. I'm Mark. Property, Property Limb Brothers, Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Eh, where is it? It's here. <laughs> Large uh, frontage standing at 11.7 meters. Flank of windows that flank the entire home. Entire flank of windows. <laughs> entire span of windows that flank the width of. No. What's up, man? Right, so coming back to the unit, uh, Alex is going to bring you around the rest of the home right now. Um, so take it away. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, can.